Hello and welcome to my channel. My name is Doodle Robot and today we're going to have a Carla party. Yay! <laughs> we're celebrating the new release of Tropi Goth Coloring Book by, of course, the fabulous Carla Magana. So I thought I'd flip through this and then we'll flip through some of the books that I have. I've got one, two, three. I had six, now I have seven. Uh, we'll look at finished pages in these. It's not a huge number like other people have, but I do rather like how my stuff comes out in her books, so it's really a nice chance to play. So we'll start with the flip through. Um, this, uh, by the way, is an eight and a half by 11 book, she said on her on her flip through of her own book, eight and a half by 11. I've got Spooklets. This is a square book. It's eight and a quarter by eight and a quarter. The two Cocktail Tropicale and Desert Muse. These are 10 by seven books. And then the three that I have here, Dark Garden, Stardust, Space Lust, and Retro Deco are all eight by tens. So I really like the shape of her books. I think this might be my favorite size. I, I don't know. Depends on what she does. Uh, she said that she made this one 8.5 by 11 because it has lots of details. And I jumped on it right away because it has lots of details. So I did try to break the spine a little bit for you. Somewhat. So the spine is stronger than I am, it seems like. I am a spine cracker. So yeah, I don't know what uh, what prompted her to do a book with more details, but I love it. They're like in scenes and there's lots of details. So I am really liking it. I'm not a huge, huge fan of heads floating in the air, although she does do a lot of that. But And it works. She makes it work, I think, more so than other, other artists. Just That's my personal opinion. I've already seen this one done twice. I just barely got my book today, so we'll see when I can get stuff done. I'm kind of actually having a moment where I'm working through a lot of whips right now. Old, outstanding whips. Yes, I like the details. Like some of her other books that I have, her older books, where she used to do more details. And then she kind of went to less details. Maybe she's coming back around again. Excuse me. She says it's a mixture of tropic and goth. I can't remember what she said. Something about vampires on a beach or something, maybe. I'm not I'm not sure. But yeah, I love the extra details. There's still room to do your own stuff as well. This outfit. This is a great outfit. <laughs> I think this might be one of her best her best books. As we look through the other ones, I'll I'll comment on those. What I'd like to see her do more of. One can always hope. I love the mid-century modern touches too. I think she said in this book there's 28 pictures. Don't quote me on that. Um, I think in a lot of her other books, there's 24, 25, sometimes 26 maybe. I don't know. I, I don't count them. Oh, love that one too. I always like the clothes she puts her ladies in. I really like this one. Is that a self-portrait of her, maybe? Possibly.
There are a lot of tiny details. It's probably a good idea that she went with the bigger size, slightly bigger size. I look forward to tackling some of these. All right, that is Troppy Goth Coloring Book. All right, let's look at some of my finished pages. This one is called Spookletts Sketchbook Coloring Book. Um, and this one, I've used her test pages to test various things. I always like her, her test pages. These are a lot of heads just floating in the air, but I really liked I really liked the hair in this one. Crazy wild hair here. And so I've been using this one, this book to experiment a lot. With this page, I wanted to play with dripping paint. That's very organized dripping paint there, but it was hard too because my paper almost ripped. I don't know, it got stuck to the backer paper. It's hard to control. And I also wanted to play with a very scribbly style, which is not really my thing. Although kind of becoming more my thing. This was the start of that. I like how that one came out. And there's another one I did at the same time. This one I got this whole page. Like I wanted to try watercolor, I think, on here. I'm pretty sure that's watercolor. I mean, it shrank. The, look at how much it shrank the page. <laughs> so... I mean, I soaked this thing, too. I was so afraid it was going to rip, but it didn't. It buckled a little bit, and it's flattened out over time, but I soaked this whole side, too, so it bled through there. But, yeah, again, I was playing with just different mediums, trying different mediums. I'm, like, not afraid to do it in Carla Magana books um, on the Amazon paper to see what it can take. The Amazon paper takes a lot more than people give it credit for, I think. And again, I was playing with the scribbly style. You can see in the border there, but more in the hair. It's less scribbly than the other one. Um, and then another experiment, which was something I was afraid to try in a different book. So, I mean, there's a gazillion faces here, so I figured this was a good place to, to test it out. I was doing, um, you'll notice that this didn't bleed through here because that's an acrylic wash, a watered-down acrylic. And I really wanted to play with alcohol marker on top of the acrylic. I played with other things, too. I think there's acrylic paint on top of the acrylic, uh, but alcohol marker. And when, when you put the alcohol marker on top of the acrylic, it doesn't go through. It didn't work as I expected it to for the other book, so I didn't use it there, but I mean... It seemed to work well here. I like how I like how she came out. Even though that was just total experiment, kind of kind of test the paper with some stuff. I also have tropical, no cocktail tropicale. I, I may or may not be saying that right. I like this book a lot because of the tiki's. I love tiki's. I actually did some tiki's in a Denise Collette book where I drew the tiki's and cut them out and collaged them in on a page. This was a page we did together online. I think I was doing alcohol markers and then throwing alcohol, you know, like just alcohol at the page. And then there's somebody asked me to do gouache to show if gouache covers stuff up. So my homemade gouache there is also there. And then I just tried to Try to color that so it would stand out somewhat. This is like more is more page here. Um, here's kind of just a straight coloring one. I think it's just alcohol markers and like maybe gel pens and acrylic paint markers. That's kind of my thing. I wanted them to be oranges and limes and lemon slices. So very abstract slices of fruit, but... 
That was the thinking there. And that was just blissful, mindless coloring. I enjoyed that a lot. And then one we altered together, one of my favorite pages of all time in any book, is this one. I think the cat was there and these shapes here and the tiki. I think that's all that was on there. I added all the rest of the stuff. I really like how this came out. I like what I drew, the little Martians, the car, the desert, Mojave Oasis, all inspired from mid-century modern art that I found online or tiki art. I don't know what I looked up, but something like that. Oh, I love the color scheme too. This one came out really good. One of my all-time favorite pages. And there's a whole video of how we altered that online. That's Cocktail Tropicale. Another one I want to get of hers. I think I want them all eventually, but I really want the Hot Tropics, I think it's called. Uh, here's, we'll do Desert Muse last. There's a sneak peek from my June pages there. I've also got Dark Garden, which is awesome. It's one of her books that has a bit more detail on some of the page, which I really like. Some scenes, detail. Yeah, I like this. Hopefully she's morphing back around to where she'll do a little bit more detail because she does it so well. Please, Carla, please. Like, I love this one. I don't know if this is a hat, a flower hat for the lady, or she's just sitting under some kind of hanging planty thing. I'm not sure how I'd color that. But yeah, I have no... I have no pictures done in this one. I was telling myself that I just finished one in Desert Muse, and this one are my latest purchases. It's like I wanted to finish one in each before I bought another book, but a Tropic Off was just too good. I had to get it right away. Uh, probably one of my favorite books of all time, Stardust Space List. Oh, Carla, please do another space book. Please, please, please. Um, I think I have two in here. Oh, here's an alteration one. All that was on this page was the gun, and it was more like a Princess Leia gun. I turned it into the flower power, flower power, 60s thing you see there. And we altered that online together, so you can see that in a video if you like. And then, of course, I love the space theme. The aliens. This is a good one, too. Lots of detail in this book, too. Bring it back, bring it back, Carla. And then this was the first Carla page I ever did. I had the book for much longer. It's December 23rd, 2021 here. I had it for a while and I was just afraid to color in it, but this was my jumping off place. You know, I just listened to Carla and she's like, throw anything anywhere, blah, 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 blah. And so I did. I, I like it a lot. Hindsight, I would have made this black out here. But I didn't think of that at the time I was doing it. The stars would have popped a little bit more, but yeah. That was my first page, my virgin page. And then I have Retro Deco. I'm not sure how many are in here. Maybe just the one. Yeah, it does seem like she started out with more detail, and then she got less detail. I'm liking the ones with more detail. But I really love this page. I think this might be the second page I ever did. I can't remember. This is the one, one from the cover. Drastically different styles we have. I added stuff to this page too. Maybe. I think I added a bunch of dots. I can't remember. I know I altered it a little bit somehow. But my second playing with Carla there. And then my most recent page that I finished, it was a whip for a long time. And I'm super, super pleased with the way it came out. We've got Desert Muse. Again, I chose this one because lots of good scenes and details. There's a theme here. And so there was a video on this one about how to make a harmonious I did this color the sun the background and the ground in uh, all started with the same paint we started with this color paint back here this pink and then we just 
added different colors to it to get the sun and then to get the ground so that it's harmonious. And then I did, there's lots of blingy stuff on this page. Um, this is from, this will be from my June finished pages. I'll talk about it there, but yes, I love how this one came out. Very pleased with it. So those are my Carla books and my few finished pages. I'm like very slow colorist. So it takes me a while, but my few finished pages from her book. So this has been our Carla party. Congratulations on your new book. It is awesome. I look forward to coloring in it. I thank you for your time. I appreciate you dropping by. Have a wonderful day. See you next time. Live long and prosper. Bye-bye.